What is up, Magic YouTube world people? I hope you're all having a great time in your life. I hope as the, uh, you know, for my Northern Hemisphere friends, as the uh, days get shorter and the nights get cooler and fall is in the air, you know, we're heading into that special time of year. For all of you in the Southern Hemisphere, as the weather's getting warmer and you're heading into your warm season coming up. I hope you're all doing awesome out there. And, uh, you know, to start this one off, I will just say, I'm kind of surprised. You know, the, the, the buzz around this set is turning negative all of a sudden. And it's kind of weird to me. Like, this is a good one, guys. This is a good one. Look at this. It's got that old magic thing on it. It's got braids on it. We got some collector's boosters. Make history with legendary boosters. Like, I'm, I'm just shocked that we've all turned sour. I mean, these cards are getting played. Some of the prices are actually going up after launch because they're getting played. But still, the feelings are turning negative. Why is that? Why is that? You know, guys, because, like, I'm stoked in the set. I think this is a good set of magic cards. Sure, some of it's a little too prolific, but, like, there's good commons and uncommons, and there's way too many of these guys. I agree. But still, there's some cool cards in these packs. These are fun booster packs to open, y'all. So... Let's get right into the journey. We know what we're looking for. Oh, did we find our elusive Karn Silex tonight? Did we get another uh, Jeweled Lotus or whatever that other card is tonight? Do we, do we do the thing, you know? But, like, great cards, great art, just some classic magic. Let's find out. Is there a textured card? A little hot degen. Nice little card there. Our usual... Little DMU foily, some DMC cards, a couple etchies, the Edge of a Taging Dane, and a Keldon Flame Sage. So, off to a pretty basic start there. Whoop. Nothing too, nothing too crazy there. We'll make a pile for our DMC cards. All right, let's keep her going. But yeah, um, Dominary United overall. I mean, just more and more. We're seeing the meta take shape. It went from all black cards to a whole bunch of interesting stuff, and I still think the song hasn't set on this. Ooh, Joda. Textured Joda. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. We'll keep our eye on that. We should expect... Ooh, second Plaza of Heroes. Not bad. Well, Rada. Firebrand. Bjork. Fortuk. Bjork. <laughs> uh, some commander cards. Oh, well, DMU Radadrabic. Only one commander card. Boy, that puts us way ahead of where we want to be. Radadrabic, King Darien. Some showcase rareicles there. And a temporal firestorm. Boy, getting all the, all the red burn cards. But uh, yeah, you know, with this, with this set, I'm surprised at some negativity when like it's not really inherent. Like maybe the set got over ordered. Maybe it got overbought. Maybe people. Coming off of, you know, is where we do for a little bit of post double uh, double Masters 2022 hangover, probably. Oh, textured rare. It's our second mirror and textured we opened. Um, with Crown Visionary, not made at all. Um, you know, not not to be totally unexpected that there was some hangover when the last set was just like too hype, too hype for its own good. Well, Etch Tor Wacky, another DMC. Beautiful old Joyra. And an Aether Chandler. Nothing too wild in this. But, uh, yeah, overall, I mean, I'm still excited about Dominaria. I mean, I see shades of the past Dominaria in the potential for this set. I also see shades of, like, um, uh, New Phyrexia in this set. I mean, let's not kid ourselves, guys. Shaeldred and the New Defilers, those cards are going to be around. Liliana in Standard, like, those are not n things to be negative on. Right? Right? I can't be the only one feeling that way. Leyline Barney. Very nice. Foil Leyline Barney. Urborg Lurgoyf. It's just fun to say. It's just fun to try and say that one. Some commander cards. Ooh, full art Lily. Let's go. Very nice. Very, very nice. And showcase Irte. Very cool. Very cool. Showcase foil Irte. I like him too. Like, that's a good card too, right? Like, the way you take Graves and Sandy, like, hitting them with that spell or removal, the flexibility on a body with Flash, 
That's not a bad little tempo spell. I love that there's so much mid-range. Like, we've seen mono black take over. We've seen the sort of black X decks take over in standard. We've seen a lot of additions sort of showing up like Mardu and Grixis. And there's a rare. Um, in those different sets. So it's pretty cool to see uh, what's going on. Um, and, uh, yeah. Ooh, double etched card. A little mythic Tetsuo etched. Not bad. Astor and Carpalusum Forest. I get that these rares are not a big hit. You know, a foil Carpalusum Forest with full art. No one's like, my life was changed. But they're still nice. They still look good. You know, and they can't... It, I don't think Shockhounds are going to be back in standard anytime soon. Pain, Painlands are... What it is? I think Shocklands are going to kind of be retired to modern strength. Now... They'll probably say that for a while so that they can bring them back. Ooh, Silverback Elder and Foil. Very nice. Guardian of New Banalia. And a little DMC card. Oh, a little showcase. That. Ooh, Full Art Foil Evolve Sleeper. Very much like. Very much like. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think long term, this is going to be a set with cards people are stoked on. Um, I don't know if anybody, I mean, it had to have happened, and forgive me, I work a day job, I haven't had a chance to see if, like, anybody's reported opening the tabernacle yet, or managing yet, um, I've seen a Pendlehaven, you know, I think our old pal Rudy, over on Alpha Investments, friend of the, friend of the channel in the loosest sense of the term, <laughs> ooh, textured Danifa, we got three textured rares so far, and a mythic, her textured slot's treating us great tonight, um, ooh, beautiful full art defiler. Love you. And there she is. Um, ooh, an upside down card. It's got extra special, it's got extra special magical properties. Oh, Phyrexian a Johnny. Hey now. Hey now. And a foil full art upside down query and beast college. Was it misprinted? Because it's like this. Nope, the back's normal. <laughs> JK. But uh yeah, I don't know if anybody's won the uh Won the Legends Lottery, but also that shouldn't hurt the product, right? Because, like, it was well communicated. That's only in the Collector's Booster and only a third. And as everyone has seen, almost everyone's opening commons. Like, I feel lucky that I've gotten a rebirth. And I will tell you, as someone opening these, that was exactly the dose of serotonin I needed to want to open probably more of these than I should. Ooh, Obsidian Obelisk in the floor. Like, I like it very much. Um, yeah, so I think, I mean, I don't think that, uh, that, like, completely trashed the value, you know, like, uh, just a, a huge run on collector's boosters, and, like, if people open a ton, sure, but are there good cards in here? Yeah, I mean, there's full art lilies, and, again, I think those defilers are gonna do well over time, guys. It's just a rare, I get that, but it's a rare getting play in a bunch of formats, it has flexibility, I can see so much commander potential in those cards believe me like i was even thinking of making a sithis deck the other day and she's just like an enchantress and i was like even then with the fact that she gains you life when you play those cards and then you could pay life to cast permanents with those cat costs in their uh it made so much sense Ooh, a little mythic action dmc mythic Ooh, beautiful foil foil showcase wrath um that uh it just made so much sense to be like wow so wait i pay two life instead of mana to play enchantments that gain me life and draw me cards like if i have the second enchantress out on the battlefield i'm ready to rock like i'm basically exchanging for free that's really good so i think the defilers there's so much going on with those um both the shieldreds are going to be strong in commander um even this card this is a this is a spicy one this rober and mercenaries like that's a good card it has all abilities of all legends come on in the right deck in commander that's fantastic second tetsuo boy and a little squee in the full foil so yeah i'm just kind of confused as to why a set with such good cards such high nostalgia a cool gimmick good art you know textured foils is now like suddenly negative. It just makes me wonder, as much as Wizards is pushing the market, and as much as they're really trying to see what the market will bear, 
and from my point of view, I have not gotten this. There's another rare and textured. Love it. Oh, Vesuvian Diplomancy. First one we've opened. This is our fourth collector booster. Fifth collector booster that I've opened of this product. I think so. And this is the first Vesuvian Duplomancy I've seen. Oh, and we got a two of them. This It literally is Vesuvian Duplomancy. Let's go. Banging. Boop. Hello. Anyways, um, yeah, I'm just interested of why. Like, I'm trying to kind of wrap my mind around, like, what what the... Oh, beautiful Soul of Wind Grace, too. This is a good pack here. Beautiful Mythic Soul of Wind Grace and another Foil Aster. Not too shabby. I'm just surprised of, like, why, why the negative turn? And is it just where magic's at? That there's so many flippers, that there's this huge race to the bottom, that really, like, the short-term gains on magic are done. And if you aren't prepared for long-term hold-type positions, that's not really where it's at for you. And that that's okay, too. I mean, like, magic shouldn't be... Oh, beautiful, another full art defiler of vigor. I think we've got our full place in now. Logomos. Oh, no, he goes over here. Um, I just don't, I mean, I think all sets will start to perform well long-term. I'm interested to see what it means short-term if, like, cards don't hold value as well and, like, maturity struggles. But we'll find out. Ooh, beautiful. Foil Full Art Mana Rig. This is a cool one. I have not opened that card yet either. So, no legend this time, but to do a quick little recap, there's a Mythic for us. A lot of those lands. Ah, a few little decent rares there. That Kelton Flame Sage I know has some action on her. And uh, let's go over here to our, our other full art cards because we did pretty well. We got one Defiler, a Vesuvian Duplomancy. We got a City and Obelisk. We got a beautiful Phyrexian Johnny. Another Defiler. Another a Foil Evolved Sleeper. Love you, buddy. Boy, old buddy boy himself. And Tyrannical. And we got a full art Lily about as good as you can do in the Planeswalker slot there as possible. Plaza of Heroes isn't too shabby. So, really something special in our Mythic slot so far. And let's go to this rare stack here. There's going to be... This guy will be a dollar forever because he's useful. He's a Boros commander. And, like, dude, if you open a couple packs of this set, you have a ton of them. Soul Wing Grace. Vesuvian Duplomancy. I'd love to see ya. Oh, I didn't pull my other suit, Vesuvian Duplomancy. That's a rare, that's a mythic too. I'm just a silly guy. Brith. Let's see what else we got. Do, 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 do. Ooh, Silverback, Elder, and Foil. Boy, our mythics treat is pretty right. Leyline Binding, not bad. This is a pretty good, like, on the good end. On the good end. You know, this one is on the good end. I think we got two Tetsuos, and we got a Jedip. Etched. Mythic. Yep, two Tetsuos. One of them etched. That's what I'm still interested to see, too, guys. Like, where does the, uh, where's the market on etched cards go? Does it hold up strong? And how about these textured, guys? How about these textured cards? Because look at us. We got one rare, two rare... Three rare, four rare, and a mythic in the textured slot. So, quick little mythic recap. And actually, let me just pull my other Vesuvian Duplomancy out of here because the fact that we didn't pull that and it's a mythic. And we got two full art defilers and a full art foil evolved sleeper. So, that's our big rares. Three full art obsidian obelisk, two defilers, evolved sleeper. And then when we go to our mythic slot, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Man, just like clockwork, one per pack. Not that it necessarily comes out that way exactly, but over in the overall distribution, and you see there's a lot of variants here. I mean, that Joda's textured, the Ajani, Phyrexian, the Manorig's foil, the Lily's full art. Quite a lot of diversity, quite a lot of good stuff. And just as someone who's stoked on one he just opened, puzzled as to why this set isn't doing better. Anyways, I'll leave you with your thoughts. I'll leave you with your feelings. As always, thanks for watching my video and come back for more magic. Peace.